being out here and actually being from Dallas has really, and seeing all of this unfold with what's going on and those cops being murdered, it's really giving me another perspective. It's actually a learning experience, if I can be completely honest. Because, you know, the killer is around my age. You know, at the same age, we have a bunch of mutual associates, people that knew the guy. And I got a lot of these guys are black status and black nationalists that are treating him as if he's a mortal. Now, I did my previous video on which I was talking about, you know, I summarized pretty much my views on it, said how, you know, I rejected from a moral standpoint, uh, just randomly, indiscriminately killing cops uh, simply because of what they represent, because it undermines what they uh, who they are as an individual. Um, you know, uh, you're killing them before what they represent or what they can do, what the public sees that they have the authority to do, but not what that individual has personally done. So, um, you know, I never defended the position that it represents. Um, never will do that. Don't have a reason to. Would never defend a chorus of entities such as the, the state or representative of it. I just talked about how I rejected the indiscriminately killing of, uh, you know, cops. And I said from a strategic standpoint, most of all, it's borderline stupid to to praise this or think you have gotten any closer to liberty because of cop. Definitely in this this situation, uh, cops, I believe it was like four or five or so that actually got killed. You have not gotten an inch closer to liberty. And me seeing these comments from some of these guys, I mean, it's absolutely crazy. I mean, they're they're again. He's a black, and this is, doesn't represent all like you know black folks. Um, not even the majority of them, but there's absolutely these guys that exist that are black nationalists that are praising, um, encouraging, and treating him as he's a martyr. It doesn't represent all the black folks. There's again some on the other end that are actually condemning the actions. But I, the reason why I'm mentioning that is because they are not on the side of the voluntarists. They are not on the side of bringing about a free society. Bringing about a voluntary society. They are not on your, definitely these white libertarians uh, that are actually praising this as if they've gotten somehow closer to liberty. These people, these are the same people that will air you out if you give them a the chance. They're not on your side. They're not trying to bring about a stateless society. They're not trying to bring about a free and voluntary society where all human interactions are, no. They very well, you know, if it comes down to it, they'll enslave you probably go out of their way and enslave you because they're going to blame you for everything that if definitely if you're a white libertarian or a white person in general they might side with you right now to get what they want but uh they're absolutely if it comes down to it and they it's not a secret you know they'll admit it uh they'll murder you they'll air you out too not on your side I'm not trying to bring about a voluntary society but this is what i was talking about in the video and saying that there has to be an education process if there's an absence of an education process even if you kill all agents of the state you have not gotten any closer to liberty. That state will very can very well be. Um, it could be a worse state that's formed, because they're not they're not voluntarists. They're they're not anarchists. They're statists. Again, this is a more so about getting their kind of, uh, you know, state. This isn't about bringing about a voluntary society. They are not on the side of the person that wants liberty. So this is what I'm saying when I'm saying that you have not, again, there's a blowback effect that can be on any end in which the state is going to be expanding. But also, again, we're talking about these are people that are, the, there are there's a group of people ever growing that are prayed that are treating people like this as martyrs, but it's not for the sake of bringing about a stateless and voluntary society. So no matter and this is why I'm saying that the, we can pretend all we want. It's cool to get in those kind of circular conversations and talk about what the state is. Um, and, you know, people that represent the state and, you know, get, you know, it's easy to have those kinds of conversations. Um, but and when we start talking about from a strategic standpoint in which we want to, you know, have a world, you know, with little <laughs> coercion, coercion uh, and extortion and, and, and uh, initiation of violence. That's the opposite of what these guys, some of these guys are wanting. And me seeing this, I mean, and I'm not making none of this up. I, I can read some of these, some of these comments. And then one dude says, you know, it's a shame that you would, you don't have sympathy for your brother referring to the guy that killed those cops indiscriminately, but side with a cold blooded murder, obviously he's assuming that, you know, I'm, I'm talking about, I, I'm a, I don't know. I guess he thinks I'm protecting the state. Uh, 
you know, but these are guys that are uh, all up and down are saying that, you know, they obviously they're praising this. They're condoning this. And they're they're absolutely looking upside my head thinking I'm the one that's weird for not, you know, just because I'm, again, because I'm black. I'm not praising this. So again, you're not getting any, you're not got an inch closer to, if these kinds of people exist, and they're the ones that are actually trying to kill the, kill agents of the state indiscriminately, they'll kill you indiscriminately too. These black nationalists, this is an eye opener for me because I, I, I've, you know, I've conversed with some of these guys, but this being really connected with how this situation turns out and, and being more connected with guys that know it is, this is, this lets me know how really for real these guys are not on the side of liberty at all and they don't give a damn about any of this voluntarism uh you know and cap stuff that any of us are talking about that's not what they what they are you know praising folks that are airing out cops that is not what they want even if they trying to bring about some type of civil war that's not what they want that's not the outcome that they want that is, that is not what they're trying to get it's an eye-opener for me it's a, certainly an eye-opener for me and i would encourage everybody that uh, is among that libertarian and uh, voluntarist anarchist community to take that into consideration before they immediately jump to the side. Oh, well, it's five terrorists that are now dead. I've gotten closer to liberty. No, you have not. No, you have not. If there's no education process, you have not gotten an inch closer.